scientists are putting sensors that can detect Martian microorganisms through their paces in the arid climate of the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. The reason they are doing so is to see if the environment on Mars could enable life to form. We have compiled a list of recent NASA discoveries supporting the potential for life on Mars. Before we jump into the details, take a second or two to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave us a comment so you'll be among the first to see fascinating content like this on why NASA confirms that there is proof of life on Mars. Number 1. Discovery of Habitable Environments on Mars Scientists use various instruments while observing strange behavior exhibited by Martian soil samples. One group of scientists found that warm, dry conditions could create outcrops that support life. They suggested that the Martian soil should be quickly heated to at least 100 degrees Celsius 212 degrees Fahrenheit to maintain this environment. Another group of scientists observed the behavior of frozen carbon dioxide and salts in the laboratory. The combination of these two chemical groups was able to preserve water molecules. According to the Mars Global Surveyor, there are frozen regions on Mars that contain large amounts of ice. These areas can be found on the planet's surface at latitudes between 37 degrees north and 46 degrees north. These regions vary in location but are generally located in low northern latitudes. It does not matter if you believe in the potential for life on Mars. It is important to note that there are enough reasons to support its existence. If more people continue to ask, is there life on Mars? More scientific research will be concluded to find the answer. In the meantime, research shows that there are various ways that Mars could sustain life. Number 2. Mars might have had water in the past. If you were to visit Mars today, you would not find water on its surface. However, if you were to travel back approximately 3 billion years, you would have found an entirely different scenario. A vast ocean once covered Mars with as much as 3 million square kilometers, 1 cubic million miles of water. When hydrogen gas is combined with carbon dioxide, it produces carbonic acid. If the response is kept warm, carbon dioxide can remain in the solution and form water. The reactions between hydrogen and water could also produce water. Scientists have found five processes that could make water in the Martian atmosphere. The biggest question remains how Mars' climate changed from a warm and wet planet to the dry, apocalyptic versions we see today. Different theories exist on this subject but no definitive answer has been agreed upon by all scientists working in this field. Number 3. DNA The plan is to search for molecular building blocks, such as bits of protein or DNA that are shared throughout all of Earth's known life forms. If biological material is found in the Martian atmosphere, this could be evidence of life. NASA has refined its scanning technology in recent years, and they have begun offering opportunities for scientists to study these samples. The discovery of DNA is a good possibility because it has already been observed on Mars. In July 2016, a group of NASA researchers discovered this DNA-like substance in a Martian rock on the Red Planet. The discovery was made on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera taking pictures of Mars polar ice caps. Scientists have yet to figure out this substance and are even having trouble cataloging it. Thus, NASA created a new domain to contain all of the data from their research team and send copies of it back to Earth for analysis. Martian Methane Gas The recent methane gas detection is the most compelling evidence pointing to Mars life. Methane can be a biological byproduct that is released during decomposition. However, it can also be generated by geological activity. How did NASA find so much methane in Mars' atmosphere? They used a device on board the Curiosity rover called SAM, Sample Analysis at Mars, to scan samples of Martian air and soil. The results were surprising because they found anywhere between 0.6 to 1.9 parts of methane per billion parts of inert gas. The fact that Mars has such a high concentration of methane gas is undoubtedly an indication that there could be life on the planet. 
Number 5. Organic Carbon Chemical Specimen Scientists detected the presence of complex organic carbon molecules on Mars during the Viking mission in 1976. The instruments aboard this expedition could detect the presence of carbon dioxide even before it was confirmed that certain Earth chemicals could do the same. There has been speculation about whether or not there could be an organic compound on Mars since the Viking mission. It is now widely accepted among scientists that there is a very high chance that these molecules are made of carbon and produced by living organisms. The evidence of this theory is strong enough to be tackled by NASA scientists. One of the first things that NASA plans to do when their Mars 2020 rover lands on Mars is to conduct a thorough search for organic molecules. Number 6. Mars Wind Could Spread Life to Other Planets Mars generates a violent sandstorm yearly that could spread life across the solar system through space dust. This idea is referred to as lithopanspermia, which scientists have speculated since the 1970s. The concept of lithopanspermia states that microbial life could be transported from one planet to another through pieces of space debris. These particles would be ejected from the planet's atmosphere or propelled into space by volcanic activity. Space debris, also known as meteors or meteorites, are sent into space when a collision with another stellar body damages the planet's surface. As these particles travel through space, they can take hundreds of thousands of years to reach their destination. Scientists believe Mars could have moved a regular piece of sand off its surface and into space. This would have been one of the leading causes of the Martian sandstorms. Due to this, the planet could have been a habitable place for life billions of years ago. Astronomers know that if life can move from one place on Earth to another, it can move from one planet to another. Number 7. Phobos One of the most exciting pieces of evidence that hints at life on Mars comes from the planet's largest moon, Phobos. This satellite is just 16.5 miles 26 kilometers in diameter and is so tiny that it can only be seen from Earth's surface with a powerful telescope like Hubble. NASA scientists first observed Phobos' strange orbit around Mars. They compared it to the movement of comets around our Sun, trying to determine why it moved in such an irregular fashion. As years passed, they could calculate the structure of Mars' gravitational field and realize that Phobos was slowly being pulled into the planet by its gravity. A Martian day on Mars is only 37 minutes long, so a complete orbit around the planet would only take 7 hours and 39 minutes. Because of this, Phobos' orbit path is constantly changing, and it will eventually crash into Mars. Scientists believe that there was once an ocean on Mars, and that Phobos could eventually crash into the sea and release a lot of organic material. This could allow life to survive in the water because it could travel through the water released after the impact. Number 8. NASA's Curiosity Rover Program In 2016, NASA began a new search for evidence that life exists on Mars with its Curiosity rover program. The mission carried out by this rover is especially intriguing because Curiosity's predecessor, Spirit and Opportunity, were only able to scan for water on Mars' surface. The new rover was designed to dig deeper and analyze soil samples for organic compounds and other evidence that could point toward life on Mars. After examining six locations on the planet, it was clear that the rover found some fascinating artifacts while digging up new data. On the first and second days, the rover found traces of organic compounds in the Martian soil that could not be caused by geological processes. On the third day, it became clear that the rover discovered life evidence by locating specific types of carbohydrates. The rover's instruments could show that Mars' crusty rocks had formed under a particular climate with liquid water nearby. The presence of these elements in the Martian crust would indicate that there was once an environment where life grew and developed. Number 9. Ancient Martian Lakes The existence of large lakes of water on the surface of Mars means that the planet could have supported life. There is evidence from images taken by satellites orbiting Mars and Mars rovers like Curiosity showing remnants of ancient lakes once filled with liquid water. 
These lakes could have held an environment that would allow life to develop, but they would also be able to protect life from the sun's radiation. Mars' atmosphere is only about 1% as thick as Earth's at sea level. This means that any water or shelter on the planet would not have been able to protect organisms from harmful radiation from the sun. Because of this, it would have been challenging for simple organisms to require light to survive on Mars. However, if life had once thrived in the lakes on Mars' surface, it could have been protected from the sun's harmful rays. These lakes would also indicate sufficient water on Mars to support life. However likely, they disappeared millions of years ago, and all that is left are their remnants. Number 10. The Mars Atmosphere A good atmosphere would protect organisms on Mars, or any other planet in the universe, from harmful solar radiation. Still, most other planets may have too much or too little radiation to host life in the universe. Even though Mars has a fragile atmosphere, this may not be the case for other planets due to another new discovery made by NASA. These gases are very acidic and also a potent greenhouse gas. This means that if there is life on Mars, it would be difficult for the organisms to breathe in such lethal gases. Scientists believe this buildup could come from volcanic activity, which could help sustain life on Mars. However, the production rate might be too much for the planet to hold in its atmosphere. Number 11. Life on Other Planets The formation of life in the universe has been proven possible, and other planets could have similar environments as Earth. For example, Mars, Venus, and Earth all experience the same essential climate and environment similar to our own. Many scientists believe life on Mars or Venus could have started by consuming hydrogen molecules created by lightning or solar wind. These hydrogen molecules would then quickly break down into carbon-hydrogen compounds that could make the right conditions for life to develop. A similar theory has been proposed for the formation of life on Earth. The planet is created from a solid sphere of dust and rock that can absorb energy from the Sun that would eventually be released during volcanic eruptions. These gases and aerosols floating in the air would generate a chemical reaction that could produce life-friendly atmospheres. This evidence could mean that life could exist on many planets in the universe, including Mars, Venus, or even Earth's moon. Number 12. Habitable Climates A concept initially proposed by physician Freeman Dyson, life on Mars or any planet could depend on a habitable climate where the amount of heat from the sun is just enough to keep the Earth warm, but not too much that it burns and becomes uninhabited. For life forms to develop on other planets in the universe, many factors must occur. The most important part is the presence of liquid water and an exothermic reaction that generates oxygen. The Earth's geothermal activity produces a lot of oxygen to create the ozone layer, which protects the planet from harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. If Mars has liquid water, it could hold organic molecules and form organic compounds using sulfur, which contains double and triple bonds in chemical compounds. Venus also has a lot of geothermal activity, producing large amounts of oxygen, which could support life on the planet. However, Mars and Venus are known to have very toxic atmospheres, containing carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. This makes it much more likely that these planets would be unable to support the conditions that life requires. Number 13. Finding Evidence of Other Types of Life Although other planets may support life, there has yet to be a concrete discovery of any instances of life or fossils beyond planet Earth. This means that the discovery of extinct fossils or any evidence of life on Mars could have to wait until we discover evidence on other planets in the universe. However, there have been several discoveries that have implied that other planets support life. One such discovery is known as molecular hydrogen. This was discovered by Huygens probe on Saturn's moon Titan in 2005. A recent discovery on Mars by the Phoenix spacecraft called organic compounds similar to those found in Earth's atmosphere and could be from life. Mars' atmosphere contains neurotransmitters, and these would be similar to hormones that humans use to communicate with each other. Number 14. The Search for Extraterrestrial Life Although there has not been any evidence of extraterrestrial life, there may be life in the universe. Over the past few decades, scientists have made many discoveries that are helping to confirm the idea of extraterrestrial life. 
The discovery of amino acids on Mars has proved that Mars could contain some form of biological activity. The presence of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide has also been confirmed to be a sign that life could be present on Earth's sister planet. The Phoenix spacecraft has also recently confirmed that there is ice on the planet. This could help support a theory that life could exist underground, consuming H2O and CO2 and creating organic compounds that would then react with the rock. On Earth, life forms thrive in extreme environments that are constantly heated or chilled. Currently, the technology available to examine Mars is inferior, so finding anything significant won't be accessible. However, advancements in space technology could allow us to explore this planet more thoroughly. Number 15. The Place for Life in the Cosmos the discovery of life on other planets could help us understand more about our own world and how life began here. We might have a closer relationship with other planets than we currently do with Earth or each other. Other planets could be habitable and could contain life-friendly atmospheres just like Earth. However, it is also possible that life could only thrive in the most inhospitable parts of our universe. This makes it impossible for us to determine whether or not life exists on other planets that do not have similar conditions to Earth. Conclusion Scientists search for life in the universe to understand more about our planet and what makes it so habitable. Life could develop in extreme environments, making life possible to live anywhere in the universe, including Mars. For more exciting content like this, remember to like our video, follow us, and leave us a comment below. Goodbye until next time.